Happy Sunday. Welcome to Southern Gospel Sissy, where I, Justin Ryan, am delighted to join you once again this week. If you're enjoying this series, I kindly ask you to share, like, and subscribe. Today, I want to delve into the remarkable journey of the Johnny Minnick family. Many of you may fondly recall Johnny as the third member of the Happy Goodmans who captivated audiences during the 1990s on the esteemed Gaither Homecoming series and tour. Johnny Minnick, hailing from Little Rock, Arkansas, exhibited a prodigious talent for the piano from a tender age. However, despite music appearing to be the primary focus of Johnny's future, another passion had firmly taken a hold of his heart. In 1967, during a New Year's Eve celebration at his church, Johnny experienced an unmistakable calling to the ministry. In 1970, Johnny and his father formed a singing group comprised mostly of talented young individuals from their local church congregation. This group, known as the Majestic Sound, fearlessly ventured into uncharted territory within the realm of gospel music, earning recognition for their distinctive style and Johnny's intricate arrangements. In 1972, a regional gospel music promoter arranged for Johnny and his group to open for the Happy Goodman family. Upon hearing Johnny's captivating performance, the Goodmans wasted no time in approaching him that very night, extending an invitation to become their pianist. However, with another year of high school ahead of him and no strong inclination to leave his hometown, Johnny temporarily set aside the offer, choosing to continue his education while pursuing his ministry calling. Early in 1974, Johnny and his sweetheart, Sherry McDonald, announced their engagement, planning to exchange vows in August of that same year. Following their wedding, the invitation to join the Happy Goodman family began to tug at Johnny's heartstrings. In the summer of 1975, Johnny and Sherry packed up their belongings and embarked on a new chapter, relocating to Madisonville, Kentucky, to become integral members of the Happy Goodman family. The ensuing years left an indelible mark on Johnny's life and musical career. After the birth of their son Aaron, Johnny and Sherry returned to Arkansas where they launched an evangelistic ministry that seamlessly integrated their music and pulpit ministry. In 1988, the call to evangelism resurfaced for Johnny and Sherry. Once again, their family embarked on a journey, traversing various churches and gaining national attention with Johnny's composition, How Long? This soul-stirring song ascended the ranks, securing a place in the top 40 gospel charts and propelling Johnny and his family into high demand for performances at concert venues and churches across America. In 1992, however, Johnny felt a divine leading to establish a church in the quaint town of Smyrna, Tennessee, right outside of Nashville. The mid-90s brought an unexpected reunion for Johnny when he joined forces with Howard and Bestel Goodman to revive the Happy Goodman brand. Riding the wave of success generated by the Bill Gaither homecoming videos and concerts, the Happy Goodmans found themselves with a global platform to showcase their music. From 1995 to 2002, Johnny traveled again as a member of the Happy Goodmans. Following the passing of Howard Goodman in 2002 and Vestal in 2003, Johnny redirected his focus towards expanding his ministry through River of Life and Johnny Minnick Ministries, utilizing the power of television and internet broadcasting. Today's featured song, How Long, penned by Johnny himself, delves into the story of Job and his unwavering commitment to praise God despite the trials he faced. As a gay Christian, I find solace in Job's narrative resonating with his unwavering resolve to sing and praise God through every loss. I know some of us, you've been there too. This song serves as a beacon of encouragement, reminding us that regardless of the obstacles we encounter, God will guide us through. I hope you have a great week this week. How long has Till I reach the end of this valley How long, how long Till I sing a triumphant song Although my tears may endure for a night Joy will come in the morning So let the winds blow, the storms come and go I'll make it no matter how 
One day Satan came to God and asked to test Brother Joe. He said to God, just take down your hedge and I will steal his soul. So God said yes and Joe confessed, I'll trust the Lord all the way. And in the Bible we're told that he came forth as gold and won the victory that day. How long, how long, how long, how long, how long till I reach the end of this valley? How long, how long, how long, how long till I sing a triumphant song? Although my tears may endure for a night, joy will come in the morning. So let the winds blow, the storms come and go, I'll make it no matter how long. Sometimes it seems all our strength is gone, and hope has vanished all away. Our plans and dreams get lost, it seems. Looks like trouble could be here to stay. Oh, but look who's standing so near, my friend. He's here to help you find your way. Oh, it's God's only son, and Jesus has come to bring you the victory today. Oh, how long, how long, how long, how long till I reach the end of this battle? Joy will come in the morning So let the winds blow The storms come and go I'll make it no matter how long So let the winds blow 